John. Good evening. So this is the uh, June 26th meeting of the Zoning Board of Appeals for the Town of Austin. My name is Sal Carrera, Chairman, and joining me this evening are members of the Zoning Board of Appeals, Town Attorney, Building Inspector, and Secretary. Please introduce yourself for the record, please. Lynn Farrell, member. David Krieger, member. David O'Neill, member. Tom Wills, member. Penny Anelli, Secretary. John Turnquist, Building Inspector. Christy Adana, Attorney. Thank you. We have one hearing this evening. I will read the public notice and then request the applicants or their representatives to give a brief explanation of the relief sort. Anyone that has a comment should raise their hands here in public and also uh, on the Zoom meetings uh, and state their name and address. After the comments are received, the board will try to render its decision this evening. Notice of a public hearing. Notice is hereby given that a public hearing of the Town of Austin is only Board of Appeals will be held on Monday, June 26, 2023 at 7.30 p.m. in person and via Zoom video conferencing on the application of Abel McGann, 512 North State Road, right for the manor, Town of Austin, New York, and of course, the only board of the Town of Austin, Section 200-23, both regulations, general business district. The applicant is seeking a various construct an exterior stair and covered porch addition within the pre existing non complying yard setback. Members of the public and applicants are able to attend in person or join the meeting via computer and or mobile app. The property is located at 512 North State Road in the unincorporated area of the town of Austin owned by 512 North Inc., 512 North State Road, Bryce Manor, New York, 10510, and is identified on the tax map of Town of Arsene as section 90.19, block 2, block 15, located in the GB General Business District. Application materials and plans prepared by the Master Architects PC are on file in the Town of Arsene Building Department, 101 Route 9A, Arsene, New York, and on our website, thetownofarsening.com. All interested persons are invited to attend the public hearing or send comments by email to the building department of Town of Arsening or regular mail to the Town of Arsening Zoning Board of Appeals, Post Office Box 1166, Arsening, New York, 10562. By your order, the Zoning Board of Appeals, Sal Carrera Chairman, dated June 16, 2023. So may I have... Uh, information from the applicant's uh, architect. Okay. Um, my name is uh, Martin with Demonte Architects. Uh, I'm the lead architect uh, with the lead architect for the project. Um, so we're looking to put a, a staircase coming from the proposed second floor apartment um, down to grade uh, with a covered porch on top uh, covering the egress for the apartment. Um, it's over uh, roughly an existing uh, metal staircase pad that's uh, there for the restaurant. So we're kind of keeping it roughly in the same footprint to um, keep it a minim minimal impact um, and just get what we need, which is enough platform space for window or for door egress and uh, minimum uh, stair width going down to grade. Um, keeping it pretty simple, um, gonna try and match some of the style and staircase platform, like I said, to keep a minimum of encroaching on an you know, already existing kind of tight corner. Um, and then if you have any questions or anything like that, happy to answer. Okay. Um, as most of you know, for those of in the audience and on Zoom, um, Riot Restaurant has been there for decades uh, as a restaurant. And um, I remember from decades ago, um, upstairs was used as storage, but uh, in general, business along North State Road, uh, we're allowed to have an apartment above um, an establishment, similar to others along North State Road. Um, for the record, in case there's any questions, uh, I'm a licensed real estate broker when I sold the property uh, to the applicant, but that's as far as uh, my relationship with the applicant goes, other than definitely go into uh, this restaurant at Carol Westicos. Uh, that being said, 
the uh, application is what I, I, I want to get a little more explanation in a pre existing non compliant yard setback if someone could try to explain that to me. Uh, there was um, an existing platform. Um, the, if you have the plans in front of you, I can direct you to the page of it. Should be page two. You'll see on the right hand side of the plan, there's a demoli uh, demolition first fill plan. Yeah. And then that dotted area is showing the existing, it was like a metal kind of platform um, that was just used for that door. It was located, I think, in the what was like the bar area for the restaurant. Yeah. Um, so we're more, it, it, we're keeping the same footprint in terms of distance, what would be regarded to the side yard setback. We're coming a little more forward to the front of the building, and that's just based on the door above and everything like that. But we're not we're not really ex extending it too much further. It by I get the exact number. Um, it's going to be about a 0 0.3 of a foot difference, a little bigger, just based on those the staircases and little openings and uh, clearances I need from doors and stuff like that. But like I said, it's roughly staying in the same footprint of that existing metal platform that's already there. So that's what I think we were referring to by thank you. Um, no, I don't have any questions or comments. Or no, nothing. So. I think it's very straightforward. Okay. Um, Anybody in the audience have any questions? Just give your yeah, name. I don't have any idea what it is. Hold on a second. Okay, sorry. <laughs> give the name and address, and then ask questions to the board, and we'll go from there. Through Miller, to Little Dan, to Road. It takes in property to this. I didn't see any plans. I have no idea what they're doing. Yeah. He's facing you. I didn't see anything. Well, if, if you received the notification in the mail yeah it's specifically stated that if you wanted to see any of the plans you can go online and or visit the building department but as the uh, applicants uh architect just basically stated if you know the building and if you're looking at it on the right hand side okay facing blue lantern okay and across the street, you have the uh, office building for Sunrise and whoever else is in there. Out of the bar area, the doorway is still there. And there was an area to come out as an emergency exit for patrons that are in that restaurant, the bar, bathroom, and everything else. That platform, okay, has always been there. So what they're doing since they're building an apartment above, is that they're taking that and they're going to be making it into an exit also but a stairwell going up to the apartment okay but that's it okay any other questions well yeah, sure rosemary Rose miller uh, for two blue lantern road um is there anything going to be constructed in the back of the building or is that good? everything that you have seen going on at the building um and being on the ZBA and taking a look and discussing everything with the building uh, inspector is that everything that's been done or is almost completely being done is all interior work besides the parking lot. Uh, that'll be the next thing after uh, this is discussed. Uh, but that's all we have in front of us from the applicant at this time. Okay, so no outdoor seating or any of that? We have nothing in front of us with regards to that at the present time. And what about? Um... Planting trees between the restaurant and the house bordering it. Um, uh -huh. I have no idea whether or not they've been to, and I don't know if it's it's not, not our uh, responsibility with regards to um, you know, plantings mm -hmm. uh, in and around. I know that they took out some trunk so they could waterproof the building, mm -hmm. uh, and the new pavement is going in. Uh, I am not aware of uh, any type of trunks unless our protect. Uh, no, there's we're nothing that we're providing with that because we're keeping everything in the same. This is the building, so the other parts of property. We're just concerned about uh, the fencing and any trees just to shield, you know, the, the you're, building. You're talking about the, like the rear of the property. Yes, so yes. We we don't have anything. There's nothing part of our plan with that. Okay, so. shouldn't that be in the plan if since it's changing the, the, the parking lot oh, is changing? 
the approval for the parking lot and all the interior work okay that's been done is by a building permit uh and that'd be up to you know the building effect with regards to you know what's going on fencing would have to be approved with regards to how high it's going to be and the setbacks off of the side and the real lots Okay, so if, there's, if there's any fence, I have no idea. Okay. Is it filed for any of that? There's, 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 nothing, there's nothing filed at this time. The there's no work orders. there in that particular out the site work. There's no right. site work in where at the present time. The previous owners advised that was responsible for the fencing that is there now, and it's not falling down. Well, the, the fences, the oh, fences, the fences, the name, yeah. <laughs> the able to get out the order. Yeah. So, the fences, what I can do is the fences are so on, they fall in our one. Yeah. The buyer just let it, yeah. So, the fences, I can, I, I will change this, but I would replace them doing anything different. Yeah, that's okay. what we want. Well, yeah, at, at one time, though, there was they were supposed to have two fences, like there, was, there were poles for like a chain link or whatever, and there was a the tree trees in between, and, and now just overgrow. Now, there's the trees and and looks like a jungle. Can evergreen trees be planted just to like shield? Well, I, I have to go over with the space with that later, but mm -hmm. right now, like I say, is we replace what is all in there. We don't change anything. So the fences, I will do new ones, but uh, whatever has to be done, I would be done. If you need some plants there, I do. I want to look nice. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I, I want the trees cut back because they're too high in the air. It's mm -hmm. on your property side, so oh, yeah. not on mine, or we cut it. Yeah, okay, yeah. so this is, I have to go over what the town permit me to do. Yeah. Anything they permit me to do, I will do. Okay. So we have to talk with the with you. building inspector. Wait, I think we would have to go back and look at what the site plan on file says, which yeah. would have been issued by the planning board and see, you know, there was mention of evergreens and two fences. So mm -hmm. I think that would be the first step to see what, what the site plan that's on file currently requires. And then we can determine with the applicant and with the building department and and with the public what this okay. app, this application right now is for yeah, just the interior of the parking lot i mean anything else that you want to discuss okay uh, I, I i've known the owner and you can see what he's done to tell us that's fine <laughs> no, i promise you the fence is going to be replaced by new it's it's totally that. There's just a little problem because there used to be a stream under there and the town had closed it up. So there's two grates that are. You should know that. You've been here for 50 years. <laughs> right. I know. Where the fence falls, that's where it's falling down yeah. now, where it lands. So it's hard to even. Yeah, and then the buyers, they just there. cut the bushes. It came a little further this way, a little further. Yeah. And now it's right up against mine. But this is something that you, know, you could discuss with the building inspector and with uh, Abel. Okay. One I want to go, go over with him. The site plan, what is you know my responsibilities to do, and I would do. Okay. Yeah, right. but we didn't know if this had to do with any like outdoor seating or you know. That. Yeah, I know. it's really it's probably not. The bedroom is like right there, so yeah. like to shield any you know. No, no. it's no. not going to be an outdoor. No. Or, or okay. Outdoor. Okay. But, okay. Yeah. Any other or members of the audience question? Come on, neighbors. <laughs> uh, anybody <laughs> online? <laughs> Sammy. All right. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Just Margaret. No one. Margaret, no questions. No one. Is there anybody that has questions online? No. no one online. No one has questions. I'd like to make a motion uh, to close the public hearing. I'd second that. Okay. So moved. Thank yeah. you. Um, I put in front of this board um, take a vote on the granting of this application. Uh, and this would be basically under uh, an area variant. So basically what we're voting on is the criteria for an area variance for the record, whether an undesirable change will be produced in the character of the neighborhood or a detriment to nearby properties will be created by the granting of the area variance, whether the benefits sought by the applicant can be achieved by some method feasible for the applicant to pursue other than an area variance, whether the requested area variance is substantial, whether the proposed variance will have an adverse effect on the physical or environmental conditions in the neighborhood or district, and whether the alleged difficulty was self-created, this factor is relevant to the decision, but the fact that the difficulty was self-created does not preclude granting the area variance. With that being said, I'm going to take a vote with the granting of this variance as it's stated now. Aye. 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 Let the record show that it's unanimous that the uh, 
Area is uh, the variance is granted and move forward. And thank you for everything you're doing in the neighborhood. Have a good evening, everybody. Enjoy the rest of the summer. Thank, thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Okay, I wasn't too harsh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I do. Okay. Yeah. I do. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.